In this video, we are going to go over how to assign CBT codes for the respiratory system. So to start, let's go to our tabbed respiratory system. We can see that the code range is 30000 to 32999. We can see the anatomical areas, nose, accessory sinuses, larynx, trachea, bronchi that are included, lungs and pleura. And then it actually starts with the tabular section. So like all the sections, make sure to look through, look at the guidelines for an endoscopy, just tab through the pages and look at the specific procedures, bronchoscopy, different kinds of endoscopies, and the remaining section inside the respiratory system. So let's go ahead and do our three practice cases. Our first one, our patient is coming in for a diagnostic bilateral nasal endoscopy. So to start, you first identify your main term or your procedure, which is endoscopy. So we're gonna go to our index. We're gonna go to E, to endoscopy. And once we get to endoscopy, we're going to try to go to end to nose. There we go, nose, endoscopy. And then we're going to pick diagnostic, and we have three codes to look at. 31231, 31233, and 31235. So let's go back to our section and look at all of these. One, two, three, one, three, three, and three, five are all together. Three, one, two, three, one is nasal endoscopy diagnostic, unilateral or bilateral. Three, one, two, three, three is a revised code. That's what the blue triangle means. Remember, if we look at the bottom at our key, the blue tells us revised code. So both of these are revised from last year's CBT manual. So the first one reads nasal sinus endoscopy diagnostic with maxillary sinuscopy via inferior meatus or canine fossa puncture. And 31235 is nasal uh, endoscopy with a sphenoid sinusoscopy via puncture or sphenoidal face or can cannulation of the osteum. So neither one of those match our scenario. We just had a diagnostic bilateral nasal endoscopy. So we want this code 31231. Okay, let's do our second case. Our second case is our patient is a six year old who stuck a bean up his nose. So he's coming in today for the foreign body removal from his nose, which is the bean. So to do a foreign body removal, we're gonna go to our index to removal and removal of what? We're removing a foreign body. So once we get to removal, we're gonna to go to foreign body and then down to nose. And we get 30300. So let's flip to 30300. Read in the tabular, make sure that's what we want. Removal of a foreign body intranasal office type procedure meaning it didn't require anesthesia or a rhinotomy, which ours didn't. So we're just doing 30300. Okay, now we're at the point where we are doing a procedure. You're gonna pause the video, try to find the code by yourself, and then we will go back over it. So for our next code, we have a 65 year old male who's coming in for a bronchoscopy with a biopsy. Again, a bronchoscopy with a biopsy. So pause the video, try to find that code for yourself, and then unpause and we're gonna go over the correct answer. Okay, hopefully you unpaused and you came up with code 31625, which is a bronchoscopy. It says tracheobronchoscopy, but the same thing. 
with bronchial or endobronchial biopsy, single or multiple. So our scenario was a bronchoscopy with a biopsy. So we would have found our code 31625 by going to bronchoscopy in our index. Bronchoscopy. So once we get to bronchoscopy with biopsy, we see we have all these codes to look at. 31625 through 31629, 31632, and 31633. So once you looked at all of those, you would have found that the code 31625 is the correct code for a bronchoscopy with a biopsy.